Well, across the country, child abuse hotlines have seen a drop in calls since the beginning of the coronavirus pandemic. As MTN's Matt Hosoffel found out, that decrease in calls may be due in part to schools transitioning to remote learning. Child abuse reports are down across the country, and in Montana, it's no different. So when we first went into shelter in place, we saw a 45% drop in calls. Um, and then over time, between kind of mid-March and mid-May, that drop has really um, had decreased about 27%. And then if we look at um, May of 2019 compared to May of 2020, we see about a 20% reduction in calls. Nikki says that the Montana DPHHS Child and Family Services Division has no reason to believe that the drop in calls is directly correlated to a drop in child abuse and neglect. So why have there been fewer calls? Definitely within the shelter in place with the kids being out of school. Schools are a big reporter for us. So as those closed and they were spending, you know, getting um, up and running online, then we saw a decrease. Teachers and other school administrators are what the department calls mandatory reporters, meaning they are legally required to ensure a report is made when abuse is observed or suspected. But those teachers haven't seen their students in person since March. Beginning on March 15, um, we didn't have that same kind of face-to-face -face contact with our children every day. The group that makes the most calls to child abuse hotlines every year? Educators. We get the majority of our reports from schools and therapists, daycares, um, people that are responsible for kids outside of their home. The Great Falls Public School District even implemented new strategies for their teachers and counselors to look for potential signs of abuse through remote learning platforms. There were hotline numbers that were given out. The 24-7 crisis text line was given to students. Teachers had that available as well to share with their students if they felt like they were in trouble. One reason why teachers make such a significant percentage of those child abuse calls, the relationships they form with students. And when you have 10,250 children that don't, that you didn't give birth to, but you're responsible for them, that's a huge responsibility. And so developing that relationship with the child is paramount in the work that we do. I don't think you can really effectively teach and, and engage a student in your curriculum unless you have a relationship with them. Without the watchful eyes of teachers, who's responsible for making those calls? So we we'll rely on mandatory reporters and the public to be watching out for the kids within our communities and making reports um, as they have concerns. If you have any concerns that a child might be suffering from abuse or neglect, the department asks that you call their specialists and let them assess the situation, then go from there. Because the worst thing you can say is nothing at all. In Great Falls, Matt Holzaffel. MTN News. All right, when we come back, Chief Meteorologist Curtis Grevenance has more on the full forecast.